Hello, we're back at the Photography Show 2014 and we're on the Wacom stand and we're here with David. So David's going to show us what I think is the next evolution of the Wacom tablet. How are you doing, David? I'm fine. Long time no see. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's been a little it's, while since we filmed you. Yeah, it's been a while. I think maybe Interest 5 or something else yeah, like Something that. like that, yes. Yeah. So what have you got? Because this is yeah. this is this thing under your hand. So looks like a Cintiq, but it's not, is it? Not quite, no. You're going on the right long lines. So if we actually give it its proper name, it's Cintiq Companion. Right. Now, Cintiqs have been around for a long, long time now. Yeah. So anytime you look at the word Cintiq, you think of a screen with uh, graphics technology at the highest level and you can attach it to a Mac or to a PC. Now, what we've decided to do, because a lot of people ask for this, is actually create an actual computer or an actual device which is mobile. You can actually have all your applications actually on it and you can actually work completely on your own. It doesn't need to be attached to a computer as such. And the one that I've actually got in front of me now is a Windows-based one. Right. So Windows, I, Windows 7, Windows 8? Windows 8. Windows 8, right. This is Windows 8. So just to make the, just to prove that, here we are. There it is. So there's Windows 8, and also you'll notice it's multi-touch. So again here, if I wanted to go into something like Lightroom, I can click on that. Everything's very quick with this machine. We wanted to make it as, as high profile as we can. We've got i7 chips actually within it. Also, the drive is, is not your usual drive, it's a solid state drive. Mm -hmm. And we have two types of Windows versions. So we have a Windows standard version, Windows 8 standard version, and we have a Windows 8 professional version as well. So if you wanted to use things such as BitLocker for encryption, again, you can do that. What we've done in terms of changing the, the feature set for those is that with the professional version, we have 512 SSD compared to 256 on the standard version as well. So the, the difference between the Pro and the, and the, uh, the standard, it's not just the version of Windows, you get, you get extra storage and stuff in there you as well? You get extra storage on there as well. Right, okay, great. And, and the, the product itself is intended to be used, presumably, by photographers wanting to go out and travel on the road, edit on the roads? Absolutely, absolutely. You can actually take this, this can be your full machine. So, you know, anything so we, we that you can put Photoshop and Lightroom directly on this. Yep, it's, yeah. it's, we, have it, we have it directly on at the moment. Right. As you can see now, you know, so if I show, show us it you in use. Okay. So, this is, this is Photoshop. Okay, so, and again here, let me go into my window. Let's tidy it up a little bit because it's been used. Loads have been, been, been you know, umming yeah. and ahhing everything else like that. So, you can see I've actually got all my layers and everything else like that. I've actually got, you know, my toolbar, my tool sets and everything else. Yeah. Um, if I wanted to use an on-screen keyboard, all I've got to do is do this. There's my on-screen keyboard. So again here you can see that I'm using the F key to actually float through, mm -hmm. which is quite nice. And then I can make it go away. If I wanted to use an, ad an additional or external keyboard, I can do that. It's got Bluetooth, it's got um, Wi-Fi on there, and also it's got Wide-Eye. I notice we've got uh, USB ports on the end here. Absolutely. So we've got... Uh, two USB ports and a USB 3 ports. Uh, we we realised that you know for professional creatives they've got big file sizes. They want to transport data as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So we thought to ourselves, well, let's try and get it as high as we can. Right. And this this is a micro micro SD. Yep, it's a micro SD slot. Right. So again, for you to put anything into this, this is a full blown computer. So if we wanted to attach another display to it, we can do so. So if we wanted to be in front of our client and we wanted to go through Lightroom or anything else like that, we can flick through it, have it on a big screen, on a big plasma screen. We can do it wired or we uh -huh. can even do it wirelessly. Oh, you got wireless video sending? Yes, we can. So uh, Intel have a, they have a protocol called um, WideEye or wireless display. Yeah. Um, we've been working with a company called um, Action Tech. Uh -huh. So we can actually get this to talk to our big screens um, with an adapter. So this can, that can actually stream wirelessly HD footage Fantastic. as well. Yeah. I mean, that's a heck of a demo machine. It's so, incredible. Absolutely incredible. I, I think you've also got versions of this that, that are Android based. That is correct. Um, we do. This, is, this one's a Windows one, isn't this it? This is but, a Windows one. We actually, we just, actually just do. Over there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I don't know. Don't know. We're not travel, not sure. travel to that. Okay. Maybe we, this, maybe this will be good. No, right. Maybe it's bad. I, so, I didn't really want you to demo it. But <laughs> that's all right. Let's let's go across this. Okay, okay. We're, we're we're live as it were. So we've got Cintiq Companion, and then we have a thing called Cintiq Companion Hybrid. Right. I might need to go where I'm getting no reflections. Yeah, yeah, sure. No worries at all. Right, there we go. That's good. So Cintiq Companion Hybrid. So what does that mean? Well, effectively, we can take uh, a, an Android uh, operating system, like so. So again here, just to prove this is a Windows, op uh, sorry, an Android operating system. 
And again here we've got all the different um, settings that you would expect. And when it, when it comes down to actually setting it up, it's just like setting up your phone. So again here we can see all the different types of settings that we might want to work with. So the applications that we can work with are all going to be effectively in the Play Store. So there you go, we've actually got the Play Store. So it's more drawing, more sketching, but again you can use um, the Android Adobe applications which are actually there. The, the important thing with this is that we can still plug this into our computer. We can still plug it into our Macintosh. We can still plug it into our PC. So I was going to ask this. This, mm. this operates as a tablet as well as, as, uh, a, as just a, as a, sorry, when I say a tablet, I mean a, a, an Android tablet. You can install apps on it. Yep. But it also works as a, a Wacom tablet. Correct. Yep, absolutely. As a, as a, so how do you do that? Is that a, do you send video or, to it? Or, perfect. or does the screen go off and you use it like a separate tablet? Yeah, or what? So, so basically, once it's, um, once it's plugged in and everything else like that, um, it automatically detects there's a computer there. So you've actually got a, a cable. It's very similar to the way that the Cintiq 13 is. So the Cintiq 13 has got a light cable and it splits off into uh, USB for the pen, um, display and power. It's got the same setup. So you plug it into it and it will automatically detect. So this will become your screen. So if you've got your Mac, this will become your Mac screen. If you've got Windows, it will become your Windows screen. Once you disconnect it, it, it defaults back to the Android operating system, so you can actually work in that way. Now, you might think to yourself, well, how do I share my files and things like that? Mm. Well, what we do, we actually work with um, Astro, Astro File Manager. So we realize that there may be things that on, will be on the, on, on the Android device that you might want to send up to the cloud. You can send it up to the cloud and use um, Dropbox. You can also use your own FTP site or secured FTP. It's up to how you want to work. Fabulous. Uh, it seems to me like it's got everything. It's got, you know, it works as a, as a, as a full-on Wacom tablet. All the pressure sensitivity still there. Absolutely. All the, all the buttons level. at the side that we've seen before. These, yep. these all work as they did. Absolutely. So in terms of the way these can be programmed, in terms of the rocker switch, in terms of the way these buttons are as well, they will work uh, in exactly the same way. The difference between this and the 13 is that this is multi-touch. Yeah. So if you decide to plug this into your Mac, you can actually put your finger on the screen and you can actually double click by using your finger. Right. With the 13, it's just pen only. Right. So yeah, you get an additional functionality with, with this as well in terms of your Cintiq Companion Hybrid. I think that's a, a, a fantastically exciting product. I, I'm, I think I've decided I'm buying one of those. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's brilliant. Thank you very much for the demo. No problem. Cheers, Thank mate. So, cheers. Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com.